Let us go through the key points of the lesson Natural Regions and Human Life Part 2. In this lesson, we shall know about Monsoon type region, West European region, China type region, and St. Lawrence type region. The areas where monsoon winds cause rainfall are called monsoon type regions. Our country India lies in monsoon type region. These regions are found in the coastal areas of the Southwest Asia, Eastern Africa, Western Islands, Central America, Australia, Southeast Coast of North America, North East Coast of South America, and some areas of Eastern Brazil. These regions experience extreme heat during summer and extreme cold during winter. Agriculture in this region is largely dependent on the rain. Along with the Northwest Europe, the Western European region includes British Columbia region, southern part of Chile and southern part of New Zealand. This region receives rainfall throughout the year due to temperate cyclones. Dense deciduous forests are found in Western European type region and conifers are found in the northern areas and on mountain slopes. Trade and industry are well developed here. Animal rearing is practiced along with farming. The China type region is referred to as China type because similar climatic conditions are observed in most parts of China. This region includes Southeast China, Southeast Brazil, Eastern Coast of South Africa, Southeast area of Australia, and Southeastern parts of United States of America. It receives moderate rainfall in summers and winters remain dry. This region is famous for intensive farming and the main crop here is rice. Let us look at the map to know the St. Lawrence type regions. As you can see, Laurentian type region is found only in the northern hemisphere. This region includes northeastern side of the United States of America. Eastern area of Canada, northern side of China, Korea and Japan. Mixed coniferous and deciduous forests are found here. This region is characterized by cold dry winter and warm wet summer. Rainfall occurs throughout the year. Industries like wood, pulp and paper are developed on a large scale. 